Hello and welcome back to the Fraser Health Online Cardiac Rehab Education Program. My name is Lin Lin and I am a social worker working in the program. Today's focus topic is cardiac events and family emotional adjustments. Hopefully you have already viewed the introductory presentation so that you have an overview of the sessions and formats that are provided for your learning purposes and self-management needs. The program has nine sessions in total, including the introductory class. Presentations do not need to be viewed consecutively, but instead you can pick and choose what best fits your schedule and learning needs. Be sure to view each topic for the most comprehensive understanding of your cardiac condition. The purpose of the presentation is to provide a brief outline of some issues that you and the people close to you may be experiencing as a result of the cardiac event, not to minimize or overstate the obvious issues, but to discuss common issues that people express and some strategies to help with this. The impact of heart disease can depend on your developmental stage. The younger you are, the harder to cope. For example, you are between 30 and 40 years old and you had a heart attack. It is harder to cope because at that age, you think of career, family, and some of you have young children and vacations. Heart disease also affects our work, finance, personal relationship, psychological efforts, and coping with new medications. They are all connected and affect each other. Sixty percent of people hospitalized for heart disease experience increased levels of stress, anxiety, and depression. It is common for people to experience negative feelings such as anxiety, depression, fear of dying, worsening, and anger. Anxiety is an independent predictor of coronary heart disease. Just as much of a risk factor as a poor lifestyle, smoking, and high blood pressure. The fight or flight response is an involuntary spontaneous reaction to a real or perceived impending danger. When we are faced with physical danger on a daily basis, physiological effects start to happen. Certain hormones get secreted, such as adrenaline, known as the stress hormone. For patients who had a cardiac event, they might have thoughts such as I've got a bad heart, I might die. For some people, this worrying thought, image, and memory can trigger the fight or flight response. The extra adrenaline can cause dizziness, racing thoughts, cold sweat, blurred vision, rapid breathing, muscle tension, dry mouth, heart racing, and butterflies in the stomach. Unfortunately, anxiety can slow recovery as it increases weakening of the heart muscle, 
by increasing heartbeats and blood pressure. It also interferes with regular sleep and increases risk of death and coronary heart disease regardless of age. When you deal with anxiety, remember these six rules for coping with anxiety. Number one, it is not my heart or mind that is going wrong. Number two, the feelings that I have are the effects of adrenaline. Number three, these feelings are not dangerous, just unpleasant. Number four, notice what is happening in my body right now, not what I fear may happen. Number five, Remember that when I stop adding to my anxiety with negative thoughts, it starts to fade by itself. Number six, wait and give the fear time to pass. Do not fight it or run away from it. Just accept it. Low spirits are common after a heart procedure. Usually it disappear as time passes. It may be an occasional feeling of sadness or tearfulness to absolute despair. Common symptoms of depression are sadness, tearfulness, poor appetite, early waking, loss of interest in things that were once enjoyable, no energy for doing things, loss of interest in appearance. The symptoms may not be dangerous symptoms, but very unpleasant. And when it becomes severe, it is depression. One may feel two forms of anger. Why has this happened to me? Also, an individual may feel angry in reaction towards what family and or friends may say to them or how they treat them after the cardiac event. You may have feelings of being an inconvenience to your family. You may also feel guilty that you won't be able to fulfill certain responsibilities. Your family and friends may feel frightened that you have had a heart attack, angry that it came at an inconvenience time, guilty because they think that somehow they caused your heart attack, Recovering is a process that is unique and varies with individuals. You can make your life changes by increasing your activity level, making changes in your diet, reducing your level of stress, giving up habits that negatively affect your health, such as smoking and drinking too much alcohol, taking new medications, and perhaps need to adjust some mild to moderate side effects from medications. Positive family social supports can reduce the likelihood of depression, facilitate a quicker re recovery, reduce daily stresses through practical help, such as housekeeping, meal preparation, grocery shopping, and transportation. A close relationship that provides emotional support is a predictor of successful adjustment to heart disease and lifestyle changes. Your doctor can provide referrals for counseling and prescribe medications if needed. If the symptoms of depression and family difficulties are too great,
counseling can be very e effective in assisting with family difficulties, improving communication skills, and assisting with depression. You can book an appointment to see the cardiac outpatient social worker and mental health therapist. Private counseling agencies and employee assistance programs are good sources for counseling. Clergy and friends can also help. Advanced care planning helps you express your wishes and instructions for future health care treatment. By planning ahead, you have a voice in your future health care decisions and will be sure your wishes are respected. For more information, please go to www.govbc.ca slash advanced care, or you can call Health Link BC at 811. This concludes my presentation on cardiac event and family emotional adjustments. Thank you for taking the time to build this session and for participating in the Fraser Health online cardiac rehab education program. We hope that you build all sessions as your schedule allows and find them helpful in recovering after your cardiac event.